Okay, this video is a video on right angled trigonometry and in particular finding the unknown side of a right angled triangle. So as you can see here, I have a right angled triangle with an angle of 15 degrees, a side value of x and another side of um, length 18. So the first thing we do when we have a question like this that's asking us to find the side length x is we need to label our sides, our opposite, our adjacent, and our hypotenuse. So that the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to label our hypotenuse side. So we know that our hypotenuse is always the side opposite the right angle. Okay, or it can also be identified as the longest side in the right angled triangle. Now our opposite side is always the side opposite the angle. So in this case, this side here is opposite the angle of 15 degrees. And last but not least, our adjacent side. Now our adjacent side is always next to the angle. So in this case, the side with length 18 is going to be our adjacent side. Now, we need to, after we've done this, we need to work out what two sides we have information on. Now in, the, um, in the, this example, we have information over here on our opposite side and we also have information over here on our adjacent side. So in that case, we have to work out what ratio we're going to use. So we are going to be using, in this example, we are going to be using our tan function, our tan ratio, sorry. So we're going to write our formula down for tan. So tan theta equals our opposite over our adjacent. Now once we've done this, we need to fill into this equation the information that we know. So we know that theta is equal to 15 degrees. We know that our opposite side has a value of x, so we substitute that into the equation. And then we know on our adjacent side it had a length of 18, so we substitute that into our equation. Now for this example, we're given our pronumeral on the top of this fraction on the right hand side. So our pronumeral falls on the top, and in, 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 in any case this is probably the easiest the easiest way to go about solving these equations when the pronumeral falls on the top because we need to get x by itself. Now to do this, on our right hand side here we have an x divided by 18. So the opposite of dividing by 18 is to times by 18. So we need to times both sides of this equation. We need to times this side of the equation by 18 to get rid of the 18 and for all, um, for all equations, what we do to one side, we need to do to the other side to keep it balanced. So we're going to times the other side of the equation by 18 as well. Now, let's write this out a little bit more neatly on another side of working. So we have 18 times 10, 15 degrees equals x because these 18s cross themselves out on that side of the equation. Now at this side, at this stage, sorry, we have got our equation to the stage where we can just substitute this left hand side of the equation straight into a calculator and we'll get an answer. So the first thing that we do before we put uh, any sort of trigonomic uh, functions into our calculator is that we need to ch check that our calculator is set to degree. So just before you put this in your calculator now, I want you to look up and check and make sure that there's a little D in the top of your screen. Okay, because if there's no if, if it's not in degrees, it's likely that you'll get a wrong answer. Once we put this into our calculator, we can then write our answer. So I'm going to give this answer to two decimal places. So I have 4.82. X is equal to 4.82. I hope you found this useful. Uh, stay tuned for more videos that will help you through these exams.